everyone, my name is Evangelist Glennis and I am going to continue uh, study on putting on the whole armor of God. So I'm going to recap the scripture again, Ephesians 6, 11, and 12. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For well, we wrestle are not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, and against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. So we're going to talk about um, the Roman soldiers and how they had to wear a helmet to protect their head. The Roman soldiers, the soldier's head is, is the most vulnerable area. Without the helmet, one blow to the head would be fatal. His helmet covers his entire face and the facial area between the eyes. For believers, the helmet of salvation is the most critical of the, for the Christian. Without the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that, that enters the believers at the moment of salvation, the honor is useless. Salvation empowers the believers to fight. It protects us in our weakest moment. Without salvation, there is no victory. So, the helmet protects the head from the attacks of the enemy. Just as the helmet protects the vital but vulnerable head from others' wise fatal blows, the hope of salvation can protect our thoughts from our enemy's attacks, from temptation to disobey God. Without the helmet of salvation, we will be unprotected from the cares of this world that bombards our thoughts and feelings. So, how do you use the helmet of salvation? Stand up on the conviction of your salvation when you know without a shadow of a doubt that you are going to heaven because Christ died on the cross for you and for me. So remember, that salvation comes from God, and that God is, the, is on our side. If we commit fully, follow, the, follow and obey, and it is impossible for us to lose our battle. The battle of our mind is the primary place spiritual battles is fought. So, Surrender your thoughts that don't line up with the Word of God. Colossians 3.2 says, Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. So remember, the Lord's character and faithfulness in Scripture, as well as in your life, will protect your mind and your thoughts. So every morning, or sometime during the day, Put on the whole, put on the helmet of salvation. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, so put on your helmet of salvation and I will see you next week. God bless.